is happening people? It is Brian Alger with NeverState.com and before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you to each and every single one of you who helped me get to 200,000 subscribers. I honestly, that is a number that I never actually believed that I would hit. So the sheer fact that I'm there, I'm just absolutely humbled and amazed and I have each and every single one of you to thank for it. So thank you. To celebrate, we're actually going to do a pretty big giveaway that I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. So if you want to skip this video and jump to that right now, the timestamps are in the description down below. But for today's video, what we're going to be talking about is elbow pain because I don't care if you've been lifting for a week or 20 years, either you are already very familiar with the friend that is elbow pain or you will be very familiar at some point in your lifting career with some elbow trouble. It's just part of the game, guys. Whenever people contact me, they either talk about their backs, their knees, their shoulders, or their elbows. Now, I'm not sure if many of you are aware of this, but before we get involved in any type of medical discussion, I need to tell you that I am not a doctor. I'm not a physical therapist. All that I am is a guy who's been in this lifting game for a couple of decades, and I've had virtually every bump, bruise, hurt, a lot of injuries. I, I've had a lot of time dealing with these things. So all I'm trying to do with you guys right now is share a simple thing that has helped alleviate a lot of my elbow pain over the years. Now, whether it is your elbow, your shoulder, your knee, your back, your eyes, it doesn't matter. Whatever is hurting, my first piece of advice is to stop talking to the people around you and asking people on the internet what they think it could be. That's not helping and they don't know. The only person that you can ask that question to is a doctor who is actively holding your MRI report and has read it and has answers for you. That is the only person who has any real idea of what that pain actually is. Every single other person is guessing. Maybe if it's a doctor or a physical therapist, they have an educated guess, but they can't see through your skin, people. So again, they're guessing. It's the equivalent of going to your mechanic and saying, Hey man, my car is making a funny noise. What do you think's wrong with it? Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot my wand today, so I think I'm gonna need a little more data. Guys, if it's serious enough to be asking a ton of people and people on the internet what they think could be wrong, then it is serious enough to go to the doctor and get a picture taken so that you have the peace of mind of knowing exactly what is going on. However, I know you guys are not gonna listen to that advice and you will not go to the doctor until it is absolutely necessary. And the reason why I know this is because I am the exact same way. Do as I say, not as I do. So now I'm sure in this point, in all your discussions around the globe about what possibly could be causing this terrible elbow pain, you've heard a bunch of terms like golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, lifter's elbow, tendonitis, tendinosis. You are getting all kinds of things thrown at you and it's very well possible that it could be one of those things. It's also possible that it could be way, way, way worse. It could also be absolutely nothing. The thing is, is that everyone is guessing. No one knows, but there is one thing that I know about all serious lifters and people who take this game seriously is that they spend a lot of time trying to get their hand to do this really, really well and close and be as strong as possible in this position. Yet, I know very few people who spend any time thinking about the muscles that make your hand do this. Now, whether you started lifting today or you have been lifting your entire life, you know that muscle imbalances are bad. You know that you cannot work your chest every single day without working your back or you're gonna run into some sort of trouble. Everyone knows that from day one. However, no one's thinking about this. Now, I am absolutely not saying that your problem is a muscle imbalance. However, I am saying that there are a lot of you out there that your absolute problem is a muscle imbalance. So what I thought I'd do today is give you guys a simple exercise that you can do at your house when you're not even working out that will help you hopefully never have elbow pain again. Now, in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple things, the first of which is a bucket. And it can't be a little bucket. You're gonna need something more close to like a five gallon size. That's what I'm using here in this video. Also, you're gonna need rice. A whole lot of rice. I didn't know how much I was going to need, so I bought a bunch and it ended up that I needed about 35 pounds to actually fill that five gallon bucket. I would act accordingly. Now, I know there are plenty of you out there right now looking at this that you may have a really good idea of where this video is going because you, like myself, are a fan of kung fu movies and these techniques have been proven over thousands of years of cinema. This actually is a very, very old technique that does work. But once you do have that big old bucket filled up with the cheapest rice that you could possibly find, what I want you to do is take your little paw and form it into the flying crane technique. Do this. Now, I want you to take that beak and plunge it in the rice, but don't do it too hard or else you're gonna get a big mess. And once you're in the rice, I want you to dig all the way down to the bottom, which is actually going to be a harder task than you're going to expect. Once you hit the bottom, I want you to spread out your fingers in the flying eagle claw technique. 
And once your hand is fully extended as wide as you can possibly get it, slowly pull it out of the rice. Now I say slowly because you do not want to make a major mess, which you will. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that this is actually tougher than you ever expected it to be. And the reason why is because the resistance of that rice is trying to force your fingers closed, which are weak because you spent so much time doing this instead of doing this. So if you do have elbow pain, one of the problems very well could be muscle imbalance and the way to fix that, what I'm just gonna prescribe right here is 100 reps each hand three times a week, depending on how bad your elbow pain is. So for many of you watching this, you're gonna get almost instant relief and your next workout is already gonna have less pain than you were in before. However, if you end up doing this for two weeks, three weeks, and the pain is still there, the pain is still hanging out, then please stop taking your medical advice from some idiot on the internet and go to the doctor and get an MRI because most likely there's something more serious going on and you, it's not gonna heal itself, people. You don't wanna be on the sidelines for six months because you didn't pay attention to something. But for me personally, guys, whenever I start getting some elbow pain, even some wrist pain, or even some people will get pain in their thumb kind of area from doing so much texting, this technique, this little exercise is going to help with all of that. So hopefully this will provide you guys with some relief and if your problem is just a muscle imbalance problem, then hopefully it will have you lifting elbow pain free for the rest of your days. And now we talk giveaway. So guys, the loyal brand, the people who make my t-shirts, I don't own that company. Guys, the t-shirts literally have nothing to do with other than just the design, uh, but they have been generous enough in celebration of me hitting 200,000 subscribers to give away five Never Say t-shirts for free. And I'm gonna give away five of my $25 programs, whether it be the Power Builder, the Deja Vu, the Corona Body Weight, whichever one of those you guys would like is what I'm gonna give away. So it's a really easy giveaway. All that you need to do is be subscribed, and yes, I'm going to check. And secondly, just go to the comment section down below and answer this question. In one to three words, what do you think are the most important character traits of a successful athlete when it comes to strength sports? Like, is it perseverance? Is it mobility? Is it longevity? What, what is it that you think makes someone great in one of these strength sports. I don't care if it's powerlifting, strongman, if you're just a guy who lives in your basement but you really care about pushing yourself and you wanna get stronger, you wanna get better every day, what character traits do you believe that it takes to be as successful as possible over a long term? Now, guys, again, one to three words, I don't want really long answers. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna go through and pick my favorite answers out of that. There's gonna be 10 winners, also, next to your answer, will you write t-shirt or program? And then I'll be reaching out to you over DM or, or whatever it is on YouTube. I don't, I don't even know. But five people will be walking away with a t-shirt and five people will be walking away with a program. Just the best answers are gonna get it, guys. You guys know what I care about. So I'm gonna choose my favorites out of whatever you guys respond with. And again, before I jump off here, guys, I just so sincerely wanna thank you. Seriously, 200,000 is a mind-blowing number to me. I. It's amazing, and it wouldn't have been possible without support of each and every single one of you. I thank you guys so much. I hope the channel has helped you out in some way, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is. I know I cover a lot in my stuff, uh, and I just thank you guys for staying along for the ride, and through my sickness and everything else been going on, it just, it's so huge to have awesome people like you coming along this ride with me, so I just thank you so much. I will catch up with you guys later in the week until I do go out to something amazing and realize, keep working hard, get rid of that elbow pain, be nice to each other, and I'll see you then.